Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Okay, so today's video, I just want to talk randomly about three different movies. First up, we have a movie from 1978. It's just recently been released uh, on Blu-ray by Severin Films, um, and it's Closed Circuit. So this one's directed by Giuliano Montaldo, um, who was an assistant director on Gilo Pontecorvo's uh, The Battle of Algiers. Um, and also directed this one, Grand Slam, uh, from 1967, a diamond heist thriller set during the Rio Carnival, uh, with a really great cast that included Janet Lee, Klaus Kinski, and Edward G. Robinson. But yes, Closed Circuit, uh, the story on this one is by Nicola Balduccio, um, who also did the story for Lucino Visconti's The Damned from 1969, starring Dirk Bogard. But yeah, what essentially we have here is a movie where, well, it's set in a movie theatre. Uh, so we have a whole load of patrons who turn up to a movie theatre to watch a spaghetti western. Um, and as you go into this movie theatre, you're getting to see lots of great uh, movie posters for films such as uh, the Lee Van Cleef western Day of Anger. Um, and then rather sort of more obscure films such as uh, The Perfume of the Lady in Black. Um, and then movies such as Ape, although in this movie it's a poster that's uh, entitled Super Kong. Um, but yeah, basically you have all these people turning up to this movie theatre, they're all sitting down, taking place, uh, they all have their own little personal dramas going on, and then they get to sort of watch this spaghetti western. But there's a murder that takes place. So what happens is the movie theatre closes down, no one's allowed out, the police turn up, and they get everyone to retake their seats, and then start to play the movie again and just observe everybody to see what happens and see if they can then identify who the killer is. So this is a movie that takes a little bit of a bizarre direction. Um, so it's described as an early supernatural giallo, uh, but I wouldn't really call it a giallo to my mind. And I think if you think of giallos uh, and you go into this movie you might be a little bit disappointed i prefer to just call it a murder mystery thriller um but uh, yeah it's quite a bizarre one but uh, it does take a very interesting turn um which i won't spoil for you uh but uh yeah it's um well, just see it, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I say, this one is quite atmospheric in terms of just uh, the fact that it's set in this movie theatre. I liked that. I really loved seeing all the movie posters uh, that they had uh, showing in this movie theatre. Uh, and it just takes quite a bizarre turn. Um, but yeah, definitely an interesting one. I wouldn't say it's a great movie at all, but it definitely is quite intriguing. Haven't seen one quite like it. Now, next up, we've got a movie from 1974, and it's bonkers. Uh, the movie is Craze, and it's directed by Freddie Francis, a great cinematographer who's worked on films such as The Elephant Man, The Straight Story, Cape Fear, The Innocents, Room at the Top. Uh, and he's also been a director on a lot of Hammer movies, such as Dracula Has Risen from the Grave, Nightmare, Paranoiac, uh, etc. Um, but yeah, this is a fun one. So a British movie, uh, but the really interesting thing about it is that it stars uh, the great Jack Palance, American actor, larger than life performance here. He's really over the top uh, and it's really good fun for that. Um, so in this movie, Jack Palance is playing an art dealer um, and he's got quite a weird obsession because uh, in his shop in the basement, uh, he has a whole load of artifacts there and uh, he worships this wooden African god statue that's called Chuku. Um, and he has this belief that he needs to sacrifice women to uh, this statue god Chuku um, so that he can gain wealth and fortune. And so this becomes a bit of a murderous uh, thriller involving Jack Palance just seeking various women and murdering them. But really bizarre cast here, an excellent cast and quite a diverse one. Um, so we've got the likes of Kathleen Byron, uh, superb for being in the great Powell and Pressburger movie Black Narcissus. Susie Kendall, who's famous for being in uh, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. The absolutely stunning Julie Eag, um, who starred in the Hammer movie Creatures the World Forgot. British actress Diana Dawes from films such as Yield to the Night. And then also Dame Edith Evans is in this as well. Um, great actress who was in The Whisperers. 
So an incredibly varied cast here. This is quite a bizarre movie. Uh, like I say, it is quite over the top. It's just really entertaining to watch Jack Palance's performance in this one. Um, there's a few little bits of uh, gore here and there. Um, but yeah, nothing too outrageous. But yeah, just an entertaining one. So yeah, well worth a watch. And then finally, we've got a film from 1949, and it's actually one that's just been put out on Blu-ray by Imprint Films, uh, but I have it on the Kino Lorber DVD, and it's this one, The Queen of Spades, uh, directed by Thorold Dickinson. Really, really great movie, this. Um, so what we have here is uh, essentially it's a period kind of drama uh, with some supernatural and ghostly overtones to it. Uh, we have a countess... Uh, who has sold her soul to the devil so that she can get the secrets to winning at cards. Um, and then we have a Russian army officer coming along, played by Anton Walbrook, um, who is obsessed with gaining this secret, and he may resort to murder in order to get it. Um, but yeah, hugely, hugely atmospheric film, this. Um, now, the cast, I uh, don't know if you can really make this out, but this is Dame Edith Evans here on the cover. And she's playing the Countess. Now, Dame Edith Evans was a veteran of stage acting. And here she is making her film debut in 1949 at the age of 60. And she's absolutely fantastic in this. She's weighed down in this huge, heavy uh, dress and has a big uh, wig that she's wearing here, um, playing a lot older than uh, she actually is. Um, and she's just sensational to watch. And then, like I say, we have the great Anton Walbrook as well. Now, Anton Walbrook had worked with uh, Thorold Dickinson earlier in 1940 uh, for the film Gaslight. Uh, now, most people are going to know the 1944 version which starred Charles Boyer and Ingrid Bergman and Hollywood Studios actually tried to destroy all prints of the British Gaslight movie uh, but luckily Thorold Dickinson kept a print and uh, were able to see that film today thankfully and thanks very much to the viewer on my channel who pointed me in the direction of Gaslight watched it recently great great movie similarly Anton Walbrook Superb performance in this. Interestingly, on this Kino Lorber DVD, there is an interview with Thorold Dickinson, and he talks about how, at the time of this release, uh, critics weren't quite sure what to make of this film, and they really thought that uh, Anton Walbrook's performance was too over the top. Uh, but yeah, no, I disagree with that. I think he makes this really, really enjoyable to watch. And like I say, Edith Evans as well, great. Um, and then we also have an actress, Yvonne Mitchell, making her film debut. Um, and she's an actress who has appeared in Hammer movies such as Demons of the Mind. The excellent cinematography on this is by the great Otto Heller, a cinematographer who worked on films such as The Ipcris File and Peeping Tom. Uh, we've got superb costumes in this, designed by Oliver Messel, and a great music score as well by Georges Auric, a composer who's worked on many a film, including uh, Roman Holiday, The Innocents, uh, Rififi, and Wages of Fear. So yes, out of the three films I've just talked about, I think probably The Queen of Spades gets my vote for being my favourite out of the three. Uh, the other two, uh, Craze, like I say, is quite a bonkers movie. Um, and then uh, Closed Circuit, quite a bizarre one. Um, but yeah, all three definitely interesting their own different ways. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies, any comments or thoughts that you have. Please join me again for some more videos. Hope to see you. All the best to you. Bye-bye.